Hey, what's up everyone? Carlos here. So we are back on GoldenEye, and if you're still having trouble getting the achievement I Am Invincible by beating Facility on Double O Agent in 2 minutes and 5 seconds or less, the previous video I did does have one strategy, but this video will cover two more different methods of getting it. So this one has you placing a mine on the very first door but to the left, and that control panel opens a locked door later on around the corner. All right, so here we go. As you begin, switch to your remote mines because we're going to use one right away. Now, at the very bottom of the steps over here, place your remote mine around the third or the fourth block. If you find the control panel inside that room is destroyed by the explosion, then just place it a bit more to the left. So as you run by, you want to manually detonate by pushing R, B, and A. If you're using this control style, which is 3.1 diamond, R, B is next weapon, and the A button is the action button. Push those two to manually detonate a remote mine. So this guard here has the key card that opens this brown door at the bottom of the stairs. Watch out for the guard there. You can shoot him if you want. So this area is cleared out, makes it a bit easier. Run down the hall over here, make a left. Try to close doors as you pass through them. So it's gonna buy you some time. So in this area, we're not gonna use a mine this time. You're gonna to have to shoot these guys down by yourself so stick to the side. Also, Dr. Doak can spawn in either one of the rooms on the left or right. You want to avoid that because it's going to waste more time. Just continue on, go to the next door and the next door here. Then make a left over here. And in this hallway, you want to shoot your rifle so it makes a lot of noise. This way that guard opens that door for you. Run up the stairs, watch your ammunition. You might be low like me, so yeah, make a left over here. There's a guard here, there's one on the right, and Dr. Doak can spawn in these rooms and also around the right corner, so check all those areas. Let's have a look. Oh, lucky for me, he's in the room on the left. Approach him, there you go, leave right away, make a left, go down the hall, take out those two guards. Then as you reach this door here, bring up your inventory menu, and scroll down, use the door decoder, select it, then push the shoot button to open the door the button used to fire your weapon. So for me it was right trigger. All right, go down here, you have four mines. Alec is here. Spread out the mines evenly so they can uh, blow up all of these giant canisters. All right, then turn around, wait for Alec to get away from them, destroy them, that is objective D, and objective C is when you actually meet up with Alec. So just wait for objective C to be completed. Alec, come on Alec. Objective C, please. There you go. Done. Exit. All right. So to recap, this method still uses one remote mine at a certain point, but at the very beginning to clear out enemies in that first brown door. So let's check out the time. It's 1.52. My previous time was 1.50 with the other method. So if the first one doesn't help, try the second one. If neither of those two works for you, then I do have a third strategy by using two mines. That video is up next. All right, so this is strategy number three. This run requires you to use two remote mines. The first one will be at the very first brown door to clear out those three guards that are protecting the control panel. The second remote mine will be placed down the hallway that also has three guards. So it's a combination of the previous two strats. The only thing is when you reach the very end with Alec Trevelyan, you're only gonna have three remote mines to destroy all those canisters. So you're gonna have to space them out evenly. So place a remote mine in the corner, then manually detonate it as you pass by. This guard here drops the key card that opens that brown door. Open it and look to your right, there's some guards. Yeah, okay, so avoid them. This area is cleared out, makes it much easier. Push the button and then run down the hall. Make a left, open this door. And this brown door is now open. So take out your mines, open this door, toss it down the hall and manually detonate to take out those three guards. Dr. Doak can spawn in these rooms on the left or right, but as I said before, ignore it, just go forward. You need a really good chance of him spawning at the very end of the laboratory section to get the best time. Make a lot of noise here by shooting your rifle. This way this card opens that door. And watch ammunition as I'm running low right here. So take out these cards with a few bullets. All right, this card here, make a right. There's one more guard and Dr. Doak will spawn in one of these areas here and also around the right corner. So check all the areas. Let's check in here. He is not in here. 
check the uh, next room, and there he is. Okay, approach him, then leave right away. And take out these guards if they're blocking your path. Ignore the others, go down the hallway, and then make a left. And then the door over here in the corner, this one here, requires the door decoder item in your inventory menu. So select it, and then push the fire button, the one you use to shoot your weapon. So for me, it's right trigger. There you go, it's open. And as you go down here, you have to space out your three remaining remote mines evenly so the explosions will get all the canisters. So we talked to Alec Trevelyan. So make sure he's away from the canisters before you blow it up. Okay, we'll take out this guard here because uh, he's shooting at us. Okay, objective C is done. That's meet up with Alex. So now blow up the canisters, which is objective D. That's done and then get out. And we are done. So that is another strategy using two mines. So let's check out the timer here. Two minutes and one seconds. Okay, very close, but still very doable. So hopefully any of those three strategies should work for you. So try one and see which one works best for you. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.